Hello everyone, this is Jay Kalina here in this video. We are going to solve a differential equation from higher order linear differential equation. So let's get going. Problem. Solve d square minus a square into y equals to e power ax plus e power nx. Solution. Firstly, let's find the degree, order and degree of the given equation. We are given differential equation. Given differential equation, d square minus a square into y equals to e power ax plus e power nx, right? You can write this as d square y minus a square y equals to e power ax plus e power nx. We know that differential operator d equals to d by dx, right? Then d square will be d square by dx square. Then you can write d square y as d square y by dx square minus a square y equals to e power ax plus e power nx. Now identify the highest derivative here d square y by dx square is the highest derivative. So our order will be 2. And the highest power of the highest derivative is the degree. So here our degree is 1. Right. Now coming to the problem. We are given a differential equation which is in operator form f of d into y equals to q which is an operator form f of d into y equals to q by comparing these two we will get f of d and q where f of d equals to d square minus a square and q equals to e power ax plus e power nx, right? Now we need to find the general solution to the given equation that is given non-homogeneous equation which is given by y equals to yc plus yp. Your yc is a complementary function, yp is a particular integral. We will find yp using roots of the auxiliary equation of the homogeneous equation of the given non-homogeneous equation simply by considering RHS to 0 we will get the homogeneous equation of the given non-homogeneous equation and we will find yp using 1 by f of d into q. So firstly let's find yc complementary function using the auxiliary equation of the homogeneous equation of the non-homogeneous equation. The auxiliary equation of f of d into y equals to 0 is f of m equals to 0 where f of m equals to you will get f of m by replacing differential operator d by m in f of d then you will get f of m equals to m square minus a square then auxiliary equation becomes m square minus a square equals to 0 which is in a square minus b square form so you can write m square minus a square as m plus a into m minus a equals to 0 now equate each factor to 0 if you equate the first factor m plus a equals to 0 you will get m equals to minus a if you equate the second factor m minus a to 0 then you will get m equals to a right so, from this, we'll get m equals to minus a and plus a, right, which are distinct and real. So, here, therefore, m equals to minus a plus a are the roots of f of m equals to 0 or auxiliary equation, which are real and distinct okay if two roots are real and distinct say m1 and m2 are two real and distinct roots then our complementary function will be c1 one constant into e power one root into x plus another constant into e power other root into x
y c then our y c will be c one into e power one root minus a into x plus another constant into another root into a then we'll get y c equals to c one e power minus a x plus c two e power a x right therefore y c equals to c one e power minus a x plus c two e power a x now we need to find the particular integral. We know that particular integral is given by y b equals to 1 by f of t into q. Where f of t equals to d square minus a square and q equals to e power a x plus e power n x. You can just write this as 1 by d square minus a square into e power a x plus 1 by d square minus a square into e power n x. If you notice you are having y p or each term of the form. 1 by some f of d into e power ax, right? This is also, both are in this form, right? Where a is a real number. Okay. We'll find each term separately. We are having y p equals to 1 by d square minus a square into e power ax plus 1 by d square minus a square into e power nx. You can name the first term as particular integral 1 and second term as particular integral 2. And let's find particular integral firstly, that is particular integral 1 firstly. 1 by d square minus a square into e power ax, right? We have f of d equals to d square minus a square. So firstly, let's find f of a just replace d by a then you get a square minus a square equals to zero since f of a equals to zero so what we'll do we'll write one x into one by find the derivative of this that is f dash of d derivative of f dash of d derivative of d square is 2d minus derivative of a constant is zero which is equals to 2d right derivative of this is 2d into e power ax. Now what we have to do? We have to find f dash of a. Simply replace d by a in f of d. Sorry, in f dash of d. Then you'll get 2 into a which is equals to 2a and it is not equals to 0. Since f dash of a is not equals to 0, then what you can do? You can just replace d by a, right? equals to x e power x by 2a okay or right before pi1 equals to x e power x by 2a let it be or what you can do is you can write f dash of d okay is equals to x into 1 by you can increase steps for your convenience then write x into since f dash of a no need you can just write 2 into replace d by a because we have already mentioned that f dash of a is not equal to d uh, 0 Okay, then you'll get x into e power a x y 2a. Now let's find p i 2. One by d square minus a square into e power n x, right? Now let's find f of n, which is n square minus a square, right? Not equals to zero. Since f of n is not equals to zero, then what you can do? You can just replace this d by n. 
then you'll get n square minus a square into e power nx or you can just write f of n in the denominator okay you'll get the same thing from these two right 1 by n square minus a square into e power nx f of n in the sense 1 by n square minus a square into e power nx so therefore both steps are same right it's repeating therefore pi2 equals to 1 by sorry yeah 1 by n square minus a square into e power nx or e power nx by n square minus a square now let's write yp yp becomes the result obtained from the first term that is pi1 is x e power ax by 2a and the result obtained from the pi2 is e power nx by n square minus a square therefore yp equals to x e power ax by 2a plus e power nx by n square minus a square now coming to the general solution for the general solution is given by y equals to yc plus yp that is y equals to yc you have c1 e power minus ax plus c2 e power ax and yp is x e power ax by 2a you can just write this as x by 2a into e power ax plus e power nx by n square minus a square which completes a problem so we have seen a problem from higher order linear differential equation in this video hope you'll understand we'll see you in the next video until then bye bye